Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys, and today I'm bringing you guys a game and Blu-ray update for Sunday, June 2nd, 2024. And for today's update, we got four games and three Blu-rays to show. And I'll point out wh where I got everything as we go buy them. So anyways, let's not waste any more time, and uh, let's get right into it. So starting with the games that I got. The first one is a Nintendo 64 game that I bought from the Old Strathcona Antique Mall on Friday. This is the original Super Smash Brothers game. And yes, I did pay 108 bucks for it, but whatever. At least I got the game. Eh, it's it's a pretty fun game. It's not as good as the later games, but it's it's still a good game. I will say it's a good start for the series. But uh yeah, not much to say about this one. And the last three games I got from Facebook Marketplace yesterday, which I did a vlog video yesterday, and if you've seen that video, you probably know that I bought an original Xbox yesterday, which, uh, that's the, uh, Xbox over there, I bought it yesterday. And these last three games I got for free with the Xbox. First thing I got the the launch title game of the system, Halo Combat Evolved, and this is the game of the year edition as you can tell because the cover is really shiny. I also have the uh, Xbox 360 version of this game, also known as Combat Evolved Anniversary as well. But yeah, this came with the Xbox, and I was actually playing this game earlier before I made this video. Yep, still one of the best first-person shooter games of all time almost 23 years later here's the booklet I also have this game on PlayStation 2, but I think I'm actually going to keep this version because I actually, I think I prefer this version over the PlayStation 2 version to be honest, but the PlayStation 2 version is good, but I don't know, I think I like this version of the game better. Plus I was told in the comments of my vlog video that I did yesterday that this game can also run on 720p, which is actually pretty good. Um, yeah. So I might as well just keep this version of the game. But either way, Crash Nitro Card is still a great game. And it is still a game that I remember playing as a kid. I remember playing the PS2 version the most. Because that's what my friend had the game on. Has an ad for Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Now for the last game for this update. This game unfortunately doesn't seem to work because the disc is dirty, but I'll try to f see if I can fix it eventually. But I just haven't got around to doing it yet. It's got this big thingy on the, the rim, I don't know what you call it. So it's not able to make, to let the game play and it, the disc is kind of dirty, but oh well. Has an ad for Sean Murray's Pro Wakeboarder, Pro S Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, and Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX2. Now to the Blu-rays, which I got from Revolver yesterday, around the time I got the, uh, the Xbox, well before I got the Xbox actually. This is the 2010 remake. I have the originals on Blu-ray in the Nightmare on Elm Street collection set. And that's just the boring black and gray disc. Uh, 
This one was brand new sealed when I got it. And it's a movie I do want to check out. Searchlight Pictures movie. Here it is, it's just the boring blue disc. Comes with a digital code, which if you want to enter this code, go right ahead. I'm not even gonna use it. Just let me know if you entered it in the comments. I'm not sure when this expires. I don't even know if this does expire or not. But yeah, if you do enter the code, just let me know in the comments below. Now on to the last Blu-ray for this update. And I have a few things to say about this one. This was actually the very first movie that I saw in theaters back in 2004. I remember when my mom took me to go see it back then. And I actually rewatched this movie for the first time in God knows how long. I watched it, rewatched it last night. And despite some of the animation looking kind of outdated, this is still a great movie all these years later. It's still one of Pixar and Disney's best movies. And I do have the sequel on Blu ray, which the sequel is not as good as this one, of course. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this. And it felt so good to rewatch this movie after so long. But yeah. This Blu-ray was originally re released in 2011, but this is the 2016 re-release. But it does have just the uh, the discs and contents from the uh, 2011 release. And that's the update. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment below, subscribe, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, and uh, yep, you got the rest. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.